Electric. Two players that we have seen so far. The confirms on point. The the damage racking excellent. The ability to just keep their opponents in disadvantage for extended periods of time. So good. This is a match of giants in their field. Speaking of Giants, I was just going to say Falco getting a lot of percent off the start there, but that could easily have been uh, Squirtle's conversion for his favor. And now we've seen, I think, something that was missing in our last set where Quid was on stream. The disadvantage state from, from Pokemon Trainer is really the weakness of the character. You have Switch, but if Switch gets red, it gets hard punished. So. What Tilde has done so far has said, I am not going to let you out of disadvantage. Your mix better be on point coming down. And I have loved what I've seen so far. However, once again, Quid, stage control, doing an excellent job. And Falco is certainly not a character with great uh, disadvantage state either. Um, double dares. Yeah. But if you never get put into that disadvantage state, you won't see the weakness. Now is the chance for Quid to show something. Ooh, excellent confirm. Yo. Gets that Raze Leaf into up air. Uppy. And that is one thing that has been so excellent so far for um, Quid is the uniqueness of confirms into Uppy. Raise Relief, uh, Back Air, into Uppy have been so good uh, for Quid so far. And have really, uh, these non-traditional confirms that we've seen coming out from Quid have been so excellent. But equally as excellent so far, the control coming out from Tilde. Once again, casting that disadvantage state from uh, Pokemon Trainer. And a lot of rep with the lasers on that one stalls. The aerial momentum makes it even more difficult for Pokemon Trader to return with the limited recovery, as you said. However, right now, till they in disadvantage state, um, we, we're seeing so far, oh, that's going to be a stock. No, Ooh. not on that one. Ops for the forward air, but the deep chase on that. <laughs> oh, oh, no, sends the other way. way. No jump either. That's it. Wow, <laughs> a reversal and a half by Quid taking the stock lead. That is so beyond huge. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Quid knew as soon as that edge guard was coming that he could do that. All right. Ooh. So now we've seen a sudden reversal of this one. Uh, Quid now stalking on the extra credit, and this could go very well. Falco with uh, not the greatest survivability, especially against someone like Charizard with rage. Ooh, and the excellent recognition there by Quid. Up the out of shield, armoring that landing hit of the forward air. And the reaction, so good. You see the immediate reaction to Sabi jumping over it. Ends up not getting a punish, but a quick drag down by Tilde is going to be enough to take the stock. We are going to need to see something pretty big here from Tilde. Here it could be. Oh, a potential huge confirm there. Only it's 32%, but certainly a, uh, a bit of percent that was necessary for Quid. Great reaction to switch. Gets the fair, and Tilde is right back in this game. Ooh, oh, oh my god! Yo! Yo! That was great. That was nasty! That was disgusting! Up he cancel! <laughs> Razor Leaf! Into up air? See, Good cause, God! Because that, that up B cancel is somewhat of a liability, especially if you're oh. against a character that's gonna put out the hitboxes on the edge guard. But a conversion like that makes it well worth oh it. Oh my God. And we saw I, the dash back by Tilde, because who in God's good name is expecting that? Oh yeah. Good yeah. gosh! Uh, I, oh my word! I I think <laughs> I, I think it would be a miracle to find someone who wouldn't get hit by that any less than I don't get it done. That's oh, crazy! Wow, a incredible end to that game number one, an excellent game number one at that, to say the least. And Quid up 1-0 on Tilde going into game two. We're gonna start on small battlefield and a strong start already from Tilde, keeping Quid in the corner. Oh, missing that spike hitbox. But get back to stay safely, do both players. Yep, and Tilde not letting the loss uh, stop him from putting out this explosive offense that we've known him for these past couple of weeks. Right now, uh, once again, Quid has done such an excellent job throughout this tournament so far, He's maintaining that stage control. And right now, it's been super tough for Tilde to get out of the corner. Falco, as a, as a character, doesn't have the greatest burst. Dash Tech and Sybe are kind of the two biggest burst options that the character has. Um, and it really hasn't worked out super well so far for Tilde with those two options. Um, and we've seen the attempt at combo starters um, have been avoided by, Til uh, by Quid, especially coming out of disadvantage. Um, 
And we're actually, we're actually seeing, I, I was curious about it a little bit earlier when we were watching some of Quid's earlier game. Um, the fair, I'm now noticing, is actually popping them up in a really great place to threaten with Ivysaur's up the Very scary early kill move and opens up a great mix of opportunity. Ooh, Yo, what a an excellent wall jump by Dare from Tilde, and it's gonna pay off. Wall <laughs> jump there into Dare. <sighs> that huge edge guard coming out from Tilde. Okay, misreaction right there from uh, Quid, but back was not enough just yeah. yet. Gonna live, reflect the water. Nah. And that down air spacing so good by Quid, just enough to take it. Um, and we're gonna see uh, an even stock in going into this game number two. Uh, stock two, big potential combo here for Tilde. All right. Catches the air dodge with that up tilt. I think a slight delay there, in fact, from Tilde. Okay. And I am liking the slugging to get Tilde out of this combos on this one. As small as Squirtle is and as much as the reset potential is there, if you can hit him out of it, he's got to get back in again. Drag down. Ooh, misses the back, it confirms. Uh, excellent DI coming out from Quid. However, the fair putting uh, Quid right back off the stage. And up he cancel, gets back to stage. And those have been so good as a mix-up. It's really tough for Ivysaur to get back to the stage sometime. Um, especially on a catcher with edge guards. As good as Falco, but an excellent advantage state there from Tilde. Takes a stock with that up smash, not letting Pokemon Chain land, which is what you need to do in this matchup. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing that we're seeing in the previous matchup with Tilde. It's very difficult to try to get out of the way of Falco in terms of the air. And a lot of characters and a lot of players like to do that, but Falco can just chase you all the way up, no matter where you Big go. Big combo here. Nice 36% coming out from Tilde. Huge dare. He's back. He's back. Okay. Right. Ooh, oh. Lenny hitbox. Tough. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Side begins to dare from Tilde. Coming out. All right. Good roll. Back air. The on the oh! Charizard are big enough where he had enough time to turn around and still hit that back air. We saw that miss on Ivysaur earlier. Um, however, um, this is a scary situation for Tilde to get out of. But Ooh. still, that stock leads so huge in that percent lead. Huge catches a roll in that shield. Up smash till it takes game number two. We're going to a game three. That, the direction that Nair sent was really important because that just gave Tilde all the space in the world to set up whatever he could have. The mix up, the edge guard, ledge trap, whatever he wanted. And yeah. it wasn't a bad call, because if that had gotten uh, a stage tech scenario or sent Falco back out, that was a really great position for Quid. Yeah, and I think what the, the big thing here um, that happens is typically when you see people run towards ledge in the way that um, Tilly did, did just there, ran from ledge over here. But Pokemon I think the, the thought from Quid, okay, he's going to keep running towards ledge. Tilly stops in place right here. Sees the roll coming out in shield, baited it out, up smashes. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go! Gonna go into game three on a much larger stage this time, so we'll see if the space will pay out for quit on this one. A quick start right now from Tilde. Quick up throw combo, as we have seen. Usually hangs around 32 to 36 percent. Huge combo with detail. Catches the air dodge, but does not get the punish. Nice. Good reset to ledge on that one. That was a trap by Squirtle there. Went to go for a uh, grab off of the air dodge, but reset to ledge and got out of it. Ooh, huge missed grab right there. Um, totally going to get some damage off of that. Once again, putting himself in an advantage. Uh, has stage control. Nice. Weaving through those hitboxes that Tilde was putting out with Squirtle. And this is a touch of no jump. Oh, that might, that's uh, just yeah. it. The Razor Leaf Edge Guard, so good from Quid, knowing the limited options that Falco has, but up till back air. Quick response from Tilde with that invincibility is going to take the stock. All right. Ooh. Gets through that side B. Yep. Feeling out the neutral a little bit. This is low percent where both of them can do a lot of damage very quickly. Oh, quick down throw back air does a quick 30. Back to stage. Oh, oh what a mix up on the tempo. And he's paid for it with 40%. What yes. a good call. And, and stage control coming out from Quid in the corner right now. We love the re reverse, uh, the raw back airs on the, that down throw. That's it. Nice. Yeah, huge stock coming out from Quid. Only took 30%. However, we know how strong Tilde's advantage it can be. This could still be a fairly even match. That's a huge F-Smash miss, but not get, to not get punished. A fortunate right there for Tilde. 
big for the re -grab And this here. is not where you want to be. You do not want to get re-grabbed by a Squirtle when they've got a stock lead at low percent. An excellent high recovery, though. I love that from Tilde. Looking into the corner. Once again, has to get the stock here. Nice. Huge down air on the jump in uh, from Quid. Tilde takes that one. Only a 44% deficit. Still incredibly doable. On a stage like Town, where Falcon can kill so early off the sides. Nice. Goes for the bait on that one. Tries to catch the landing with Illusion, but not excellent quite tech there. tech chase from Quid. The Squirtle's been very strong in this game, number three. Ooh, Ooh. One of the first mid switches we've seen um, on uh, from Tilde on Quid. Super scary situation. He manages to get down to the ground. Quick uh, reflector. Of course, that reflector is frame one. Super huge. Right there. Back air. Disadvantage for Ivysaur. Ooh. Super scary situation. Let's check out from Tilde. Oh, quick dash tech to put Tilde back in disadvantage from Quid. And this has been so so tough. Ooh, wow, but that next... was right at the spacing for the read. Oh my gosh, both players flubbing a little bit. Unable to get back down to the ground. No, is able to. But nice. Razor Leaf up B, that unconventional confirm that we've seen has been so good for Quid. Normally we see that Razor Leaf uh, into up air, that Razor Leaf into another aerial. But Razor Leaf up B has been so, so good for Quid. And it's going to take that stock and take the set. Um, catches the roll in. Quick up B, that takes a set, and Quid, might I add new champion, potential, <laughs> is in winner's finals. Yeah, good work on Quid on that one. Those were definitely some sick conversions we saw on that, and honestly... God, game, game one. <laughs>